How's it going everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers Mobile Survival. This is episode number nine and this is the episode that we have to cross that. That would be the chasm that we exited at or that we stopped at last episode and that is our obstacle for today. Um, our main goal for this episode is going to be crossing this chasm, but what is the name of this chasm? I asked for suggestions last episode and you guys gave me some really good ones. I'll shout them out at the end of the video, but the one that I decided was really amazing was the Chasm of Lost Time because it fits so perfectly. We have, uh, we, we didn't make it very far last episode and we ended here and now we're probably going to spend another hour trying to get across this thing. It is the Chasm of Lost Time. So, um, I also asked for names for the Spire last episode, which I thought uh, looked really cool. And the name that I came up with are the Two Wise Wanderers, or I didn't come up with it. Someone came up with it and I liked it. Uh, so we're gonna get a postcard for the Spire right here. But of course, there were also tons of amazing names for that as well. And I'll shout those out at the end of this video also. So um, what are we gonna do this time? Well, we're gonna try and get across the Chasm of Lost Time here uh, with a bridge. And I got a lot of suggestions for how to make this bridge a little bit more efficient. Um, Supposedly the block method I'm doing here is not the best. We could actually be using something a little larger. For instance, we could be using uh, refineries if we wanted to. Um, refineries would only require one steel plate. I'll, I'll use this one here. And would take up a larger area. Uh, we could also be using solar panels. We could be using windows. There are lots of things we could be using. Which one will we use? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I still have to decide. Um, but before I decide, I think what we're going to do first is we're going to move the bridge because right now the bridge is, first of all, it's facing up. It's going to go above this, so it's not the correct angle. But second of all, we're going across a lot of land that we could technically drive on. So it would be better if we built the bridge down there over to that side and then drove up the, the rest over there. We'd save a lot of materials. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get our rover down over there and I'll probably build the bridge like over right there to there. It'll be a smaller bridge. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I've, I think over there on the left is the best spot there. We just need to be uh, quick on the brakes in case we need to brake because we don't want to go all the way down this cliff. And I think I think we're gonna save ourselves lots of materials this way. Oh, we're bumping around a little bit. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna knock this tree over. Um, Yep, there we go. And speaking of knocking the tree over, we have not named the rover yet, but I've got tons of suggestions of names, so I think we're going to come up with one here. Or I think we're going to pick one here. I think the one that I like the most um, is the Arborist. I think that's my favorite one. Uh, Chop Norris is my second favorite one, easily. <laughs> Chop Norris and the Arborist. But I think the Arborist is the good one. Arborist means like a tree surgeon or like a uh, someone who specializes in trees, and I think that's just perfect for this. Um, so we're going to name this the Arborist, and uh, I think I'm going to put a plaque of all the name suggestions that I got somewhere, maybe on the side, um, because there are a lot of really amazing ones that uh, that are that deserve to be recognized. But I want to check out what's over here um, if we build the bridge over this way. Okay, if we build the bridge here, look how much room this is going to save us. It's still a massive chasm we have to go across, but that's where the original bridge is, which, by the way, it looks really amazing. I, in fact, you know what? I might keep it there, even though it's going to use up materials. It just looks so good. That'll be the first attempt at the bridge, and this will be the second attempt that's gonna span maybe to over there, because it looks a little bit smoother over there. So I'm gonna start this off with, um, I think I'm gonna start off like I did before with the column block. So we're gonna start it with an interior wall like this, just because that's gonna be easier to place than uh, something else. So we're gonna first have a line of interior wall blocks. Okay, so how wide was that bridge again? It was like three and then like five in the middle, right? So it was pretty wide. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. It was like that, I think. And that should land us right there. That's actually maybe a little high even. It'd be nicer to land down there, but it, this is gonna be fine. Okay, this is the start of our bridge. It's um, down here, so we have to get down here. But uh, yeah, it's gonna go across and we're gonna use, uh, people said refineries, people said windows. I don't know which would be better. I think we're gonna use uh, windows. So, but we want to make it look a little nice as well. So here's what we're going to use actually. So since we've got interior plates, we're going to use the these guys. Put them up like that. And then we should be able to attach a window to those. So we're going to have windows going this way. And, and we're, we, we want to make this bridge look nice. Keep that in mind. That's that's part of the, the process. It, it's got to be uh, cost efficient, but it's also got to be kind of kind of nice, kind of good. We need girders. We have girders, good, okay. Uh, production, give me 200 girders, give me 200 interior plates, and then that sh is good. Okay, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the bridge, we're gonna do a little bit of um, 
of uh, work on the rover, and then we'll finish the bridge. Because there's some rover work I want to do as well. I'm going to bring this back just one. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Switch to this guy. Invert it. Like so. Alright, this is going to be what our bridge segment's going to look like. And then it's going to continue uh, the same way. Like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. So essentially it's going to look like a bunch of segments of that, basically. And I could try and have this like kind of go into the wall there. In fact, that might not be a bad idea. It would look pretty good. Although it's going to use a couple more materials. We'll have this middle block here come down a little bit. And then I guess we'll have to switch to steel plates if we want to make uh, angled ones. Unless, is there a way to make this look nice? <laughs> I don't know that this is going to look good. Okay, my stubbornness to use interior plates instead of steel plates has led to this very interesting design. It's honestly kind of cool though, I like it. Um, so yeah, this first layer is going to have a, a stability thing like that so that it looks um, decent and so that if something happens here, this does not just collapse because if something happened there and this was not attached, the entire bridge might just collapse. So we're going to have a little bit of support there and then uh, we'll continue. All right, there we go. We've got a, a, couple, a couple of these bridge segments out now and it's looking pretty good. It's going pretty well. Um, let's get this thing down. Uh, we'll get it onto the bridge if we can. I don't know if, if it'll be able to. Um, but that's that's the first part, right? Getting it onto the bridge. So let's get it down there and then we'll do a couple, we'll do a little bit of work on our, um, I think we want to do a little bit of work on our solar panel because I have a better idea for how to make it look a little bit better. Okay, we got to be a little careful here. I'm holding the uh, handbrake here. Uh... This is a little worrying, a little worrying, a little worrying. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That was a, a, a little steeper than I thought it was at first, but okay, let's see if we can get on this thing. It, it might be a little bit tight, but all right, don't come down hard on the bridge, please. Softly, softly, softly. Okay, oh, it's looking good. There we go. Okay, we're now on the bridge. It's very, it's a very tight fit there, but we're on the bridge. Okay. And we can get a cool screenshot as well of this one in the rain on the uh, second bridge. It's just a silhouette shot because it's rainy, but yeah. Okay. Oh, this guy's got no remaining ice. All right. Bad news is we're running out of hydrogen. We don't have any ice. We have some ice on this hydrogen tank, but I can't really access the tank itself because it's back there. Uh, and I can't just like throw things in there. So we have a little bit of hydrogen through this, but our bottles are empty, which means it'd be nice to get a little bit of ice. If we have some? Do we have some? One more? No, we do not have any ice. All right, well, let me see real quick if there happens to be any ice near us, because if there is, that would be very, very awesome. I just want to check real quick, see if there's any uh, ore spots. I don't really see any. Oh, I actually see one over here. Let's check to see if this is ice. If it is, we're in luck. There's an ore spot and a rock, so that's double double chances. The rock is silicon. The ore spot is gold. We found gold. Gold but not ice. There is an ore spot down there. I guess I could plop down there, see if that's some ice. Whee! We're going down into the, the chasm of lost time. Taking even more time to get down here. Uh, let's see. Do you happen to be any ice down here? Oh, there is ice. Okay, we have some ice down here. Good. Oh, that's going to save us some time. If we ran out, that would be really hard to, to get things done. Okay, here's the ice. Let's grab a little bit of this stuff. Okay, we've got a little bit of ice. I'm going to go ahead and turn... I think the hydrogen engine of this is off, right? But I want to make sure. Hydrogen engine. Yeah, keep you off for now. I'm going to give you the ice. And that's going to allow us to fill these guys. Okay, awesome. So I've given him the ice, because if I give him the ice, he's just going to turn it into uh, power. The sun has passed the midway point, by the way. We are losing time on this area. It is definitely the chasm of uh, lost time. But while it is the chasm of lost time, there is something that I want to do, and that is move the solar panels. So we're going to lose even more time doing this, but that's okay. Um, so I don't need this anymore. This was going to be for that, um, the, the little... Oh, we need to name this as well. Uh, I think... I got a bunch of really good naming suggestions for the uh, for the little drone as well. I think the one I'm going to go with is Bridget. And the reason I'm going with this is because it's a pun. The person who uh, named this Bridget is uh, said that it's called Bridget because it's looking for a place to place a bridge. 
It's looking for a bridge location, so it's it's Bridget. I think that's just amazing. Um, my other favorite ones were Pigeon and Wayfinder, and there were a lot of all, other awesome names as well. Maybe I'll put like a plaque of all the names on the side of this one too. Um, thank you everybody for all the name suggestions because there there's some really good ones that give me a chuckle. But uh, okay, let's let's get this thing sorted. Um, let's pick a mid midpoint here, maybe like here, and we're gonna build a rotor. We don't need an advanced one. We just need. Did I use an advanced one for this? Or is this normal rotor? That's a normal rotor, okay. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on this side. So we're doubling this up. It's gonna be kind of cool, kind of wacky, but that's okay. In fact, you know what? Let's, oh, I can't, okay, you know what? Let's remove you. I'm gonna place it in set one, so it's not as sticky outy. That's not really a word, but we'll see what I mean. There we go, we've got our rotors. Now we need a hinge. Our hinge is gonna go on the side like so. Okay, we've got one side done, so for now what we're gonna do is- oh wait, do I need to build that up as well? Here, I'll grab the stuff for that, I suppose. Well, either way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a normal block- no, not a- no, yeah, a normal block right here. Okay, we'll do it like that. Then we'll have, um, something like this. Okay, so with this, in theory, this should be able to follow the uh, the sun still, just like this one can. Um, it's got the rotor, it's got the hinge. It should it should work. Okay, let's try this out. We're gonna remove this solar panel and this solar panel, and we'll place them on this one, like so. Solar panel, and you know what? I'll place the other one over here. We're gonna eventually fill these in, but for now, I'll I'll place them like that. All right, we've got our solar panels up, so let's go ahead and remove this um, set of things. Oops. Ooh, that landed hard. Sorry, blocks. Uh, okay, remove these guys as well. And then we're gonna need to remove this camera. Oh, do we not need the camera? Because this camera wasn't even built. I thought we needed a camera, but maybe not. Remove these. And that. There we go. So our rover now has a slimmer profile, which is nice. And, uh, of course, these just still look like wings all the way up there. Maybe they should be one block lower. Okay, this is looking pretty good. We've got our solar panels now. They're one block lower, which I think looks a little bit better. And we can now set them up with uh, these. I'm going to call this my left uh, rotors. So this will be rotor, so solar rotor. This is going to be solar turret controller right. I do not know how to set this up. So the elevation would be the... Okay, I'm having a hard time visualizing what, what these would be. The azimuth or the elevation. Uh, I guess the rotor would be the elevation? They're both kind of elevation though, aren't they? One's elevation in one direction, the other's elevation in the other direction. So I'm just gonna say the hinge on the right is our azimuth and the rotor on the right is our elevation. And I would like them to follow the sun if at all possible. I guess I need to, maybe I need to put a, a camera on that for that to be possible. Okay, we'll put a camera. Oh lord, what the heck just happened? Okay, always aim at sun, yes. Are you aiming at the sun? Yeah, okay, so I think this is working then, because that is aiming at the sun. So, I guess I got the elevation and azimuth ones correct? Awesome. Um, I'm going to set this one right here to share inertia dem uh, tensor. There we go. And I'll do the same with this one. So I've been told that the one that is not connected to the main grid should be sharing inertia tensor, and the one that is connected should not be sharing inertia tensor. We are in dire need of more iron. We're, we've run out, basically. Um, we have a little bit of... We have a lot of stone here, actually. I'd like to get this up and running. This is only going to require like 300 more steel plates, uh, which we do not have right now, but... I mean, we have a couple. Maybe what we should do, maybe we should just focus on the bridge right now, build this up. If there's any iron nearby us, let's go back up here to this uh, episode 8 end and see if there was any. So there was a rock. Is there any iron in this rock? Uh, no, this looks like a, this is a nickel rock, okay. I mean, well, I mean, maybe I should grab some nickel because we are running low on nickel every once in a while. That will be useful to have. But we, what we really need is the uh, is the iron, of course. 
Okay, you know what? Let's try and get across this. Um, let's try as hard as we can. We have some quite a few interior plates, I think. Yeah, 119. So that should last us quite a bit. We have a lot of girders. So let's grab both of those and uh, and start building out this bridge and see how far we can get. Um, we are out of iron, so that's a little worrying. But um, if we can get across the bridge without the iron, then we'll be fine. Because over there, there's probably iron somewhere. So let's start building this bridge um, and, uh, and, and see how far we can get. The one, two. Should I go three? You know what? Let's let's change up the design a little bit. Let's start going three because we're a little bit out of. Well, let's go double. Let's go double time. We'll go four. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's back this up. I have a better idea. Okay, it's coming along. I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I did to the design, and I might get roasted for this. But <laughs> if we can't have nice things, what can we have? Look at this. Okay, I've decided to make the second one also a strut that goes into the ground. Even though it took up a lot of materials, it looks cool, I think. And uh, and then I decided to go uh, start going five. So we go two there, two there, then we go five, five, and we'll keep going five because it's gonna use less materials uh, going that way. Now I added another thing right here, a, a, one that goes out a little further. And what I might do is I might add like a underlying path here, I don't know. Okay, okay, you know what? I need to stop because <laughs> we're not building for design, okay? We're building to get across. But we can at least do a little bit of design. Five. No! Ah! No! Ah! Oh my god, I almost launched a, a, a nuke on the ground there. Oh, we're out of interior plates. No! No! We got about halfway before we ran out of interior plates. Okay, I can deconstruct some steel plates that we have and, and turn them into interior. Oh, it'd be, you know, it'd be nice to get this thing up and running, wouldn't it? So that, that could get full power. For now, I guess we'll just turn this manually. Okay, we were able to get this built up. So let's get the left uh, left one set up. Okay, so this should now be also following the sun. So these should be looking pretty identical. So if the sun were like way over there, for instance, this this hinge should allow this to go bloop and like uh, kind of go over the, the side of this. But I mean, we can use this to tell how far off we're, we are from the sun uh, uh, in terms of where we're headed. So if we're heading this direction and these rotors are facing forward, we're in bad shape. If we're heading this direction, the rotors are facing backward, we're in good shape. Currently, we're in bad shape because we need to get across this. Um, how many of these were we able to... We were able to build up 71 interior plates just there. And we have girders as well. Um, so that should last us a little bit. We're still going. 22, 23, 24. It takes 24 interior plates to get one of these struts done. So, and I know I could just go, I could just go ham with the, uh, the windows and go all the way, but I need it to look decent. For the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, at this point, we're almost there. We're, we're really getting there. It's a long bridge, but we are getting there. We need more interior plates, so we need to deconstruct more steel plates. We're out of interior plates. We're almost there, though. Look at this. Technically, we could probably jump this. Okay, no, we couldn't, but it's it's getting there. Look how far we are. This is this is um like a quarter kilometer, or not quarter. This is almost three quarter kilometer uh, gap. That was just 500 meters right there. That's crazy. Okay, now we're really close. Um, now we could actually drop off this if we wanted to, but I would like to complete this so I can land. I guess we're gonna land like over there somewhere. Which would be perfect, we can, we can just like roll up off that. So, we just need a couple more interior plates. And we should be able to make it. Maybe another 40 uh, to 60. And we should have it. I wanted to do this on the other side as well, so it would look nice. But I think we're going to have to skip that. And then, if we ever come back here. I don't know when we would ever come back here. But if we do, we would, uh, we would fix that. I'm out of interior plates. Look how close we are. We're very close. Okay. This is this is almost a kilometer long bridge. That was 800 meters um, that we were at. Could we have made the bridge shorter? Like over there? Yes, probably. Did we pick like the longest spot? Yes, probably. Are we unhappy with it? Yes, probably. Will we regret it? Yes, probably. But will we make it to the other side? Yes, probably. Okay, I've got 20 more of the good stuff. You're made of steel plates. I don't need you anymore. Do I still have this? I still have this! Why do I still- have... We don't need you anymore either. 
That's so many steel plates that we just got. Okay, power problems, or I mean, <laughs> iron problems are resolved for now. Disassemble like 20 of those and then like make the good stuff from them. All right, we've got plenty. We've got almost 100. Let's get, let's get 100. Okay, we've got 100 uh, interior plates. We're good. We've got this. Let's do this final stretch. Okay, we do just so happen to build this right into the side of a mountain, which uh, is not cool, but we can probably drill this out. Or at least drill like a better path for our um, large rover to get up here. Or, you know what? Maybe our wheels will just be able to get over it. I don't know. What do you think? Doesn't look that bad, right? Okay, I don't know if the wheels will be able to get over that, but there is only one way to find out. Ah! Um, the bridge is pretty much done, so it's about time to uh, to try it out. See if we can get over it. Um, it's about a kilometer, by the way, so yeah. We've wasted enough time here. Let's get it going. The solar panel, look at them. They're already facing forward. The sun is getting too far ahead. Let's, uh, let's get this thing started. Um, the first part of this should not be that hard. We just need to make sure we stay on the bridge. So I'm going to keep an eye on this left side wheel there. To make sure it's uh, it stays on the bridge, and if it stays on the bridge, then the right side should be fine. We're just gonna make sure this side's good, and the other side will follow. Let's be, you know what? Let's get a nice look at this. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh man, that that's a really cool shot. I think. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're crossing the bridge. If I had more time, I would make the bridge look a little bit nicer. All those things out to the side could be either lights or they could be like supports or something like that. So more time, it would look nicer. But with the time we have, I think this is the best we could do. Um, and I think it's it's pretty good. How fast are we going over this thing? Six miles per hour or six uh, meters per second rather. I think I'm fine with that. I don't think we need to be going any faster to get the point across or to get the ship across, I guess. Um, but here we go. What about an undershot? Let's see what it looks like there. The camera might glitch out a little bit as we do this, but um, yeah, I see. <laughs> but uh, but it looks cool. Screenshot worthy, maybe? Me controlling something far too big that I should not be controlling. Crossing a bridge that has no business being crossed. Getting a little bit close on the left, on the right side, rather. I think we're fine with this. Now the challenge is going to be getting up up, uh, up this hill thing here because I don't know that we can easily do that, but we'll see. Here we are at the end. Okay. If we fall here, it wouldn't be that bad, presumably. All right. Here's the end. Uh, we might be able to get over that. I don't know. It's a little rough. What we could do is we could angle the bridge if our wheels don't like this. Oh yeah, our wheels are not going to like this. Let's back up. That's not that's not made for for me. So if I start our ramp about here, that should make oh no, maybe maybe back two. That should make it up most of the way. Okay, so this I think it might be able to get over. Um, maybe if I even this out just a little bit, and then cut out the middle. I think I can maybe get over this bit right here. We we used the ramps here and sort of made like a a bit of a, a little, like a ramp thing. <laughs> So hopefully it can get over it. Let's see. Um, we'll go slowly and see if it can get over this. Not even a challenge. Oh, the solar panels are, are uh, adjusting there. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on. Brakes, 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 brakes. Oh my gosh, what was that? <laughs> I don't know what happened. We lost traction and started sliding. Can I park? Okay, I can park. Um, Right. So that's a problem. We have a lot of interior plates, though, so we can solve this problem. Um, I don't want to be hanging off the edge like this. So, can I maybe put some of these, like, right there? So that I do not slip. To all the people who told me I should put railings on this bridge, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> there we go. I've, I've put a couple of these up, just so it's a little bit easier to grab, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna hop in this. Park and brake released, and we're gonna try and get some traction on, on this here. Okay, we are getting a little bit of traction. Good. Good. Okay, now we're, we're looking good. We're kind of gonna go... Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. And brake again. 
It occurs to me that I probably should have added some of those here as well. <laughs> I, I kind of skipped this area. Mark and break released and floor it, floor it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, don't go over the side though. Okay, I'm, I'm just still going. I'm just still holding forward. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get up a little bit higher and park at this flat area so we can just examine what happened. I need to give those um, those solar panels limits or they're going to start hitting the ground. Dang. But okay, there we go. We have made it across the bridge. It, uh, it was a little hairy at the end, as you can see by my panicked um, stuff. But I mean, there's the bridge. There is the like one kilometer bridge. If I go to the other side, you'll see how far it is. Uh, from the marker of the of the ship. Um, it's almost a kilometer. The ship's probably a kilometer away. Yeah, the ship's a kilometer away. Um, but it's a little bit off the bridge. Still, it's almost a kilometer. Almost a kilometer bridge. That's insane. <laughs> we maybe could have done that a little bit easier, but you know what? I cherish the bridge that we created, and I think it, it served us well. The sun's gaining on us, or not gaining on us, it's outpacing us a little bit. So we need to, to try and get some distance. Now, the episode's been going on for a while, so we're not going to go that far, uh, far. And if we find iron, we will have to stop. But um, we we need to gain some distance on the uh, on the sun here. Oh my gosh, what is this? We have, uh, oh, okay, we have some stuff here. Maybe there's some iron, like, right here. That would be nice. Some immediate iron would be cool. Can I get a little bit of that? Mm, yeah, we do have iron. Okay, we have iron right under us. So we're gonna stop for the iron. Now, I, I saw an ice cap over there. I can, uh, I can apply it just a little bit above here. Yeah, I saw an ice cap over there, and that is in the direction we're going. So we might be entering some sort of, like, more snowy area. I don't know. We'll see. I think we're going along the equator, so maybe not, but... Stop. Okay, I think that's enough iron for now. We're gonna continue on. Um, and try and gain some distance here. Uh, let's actually, can we build this? Um, we should have quite a few steel plates in here. So we need a hundred, we need about 200 more. So if I go to production here and try and queue up 100 of these, let's see how long that would take. That would require 2,000 iron. Do we have 2,000 iron in here? For chance. We have 1,000 and change. So we're gonna have to, uh, do a little bit of, um, driving and that should be ready at some point so with that 100 that'll get that 100 away then we can add this so we'll deconstruct that and add it to there and that will let us uh, have this up and running so okay cool let's uh let's keep going we're gonna we're gonna go toward our marker now this is episode 9 so if we were on time we would be reaching oh please don't break those okay if we were on time, we would be reaching that marker in this episode. We will not be reaching that marker in this episode. We are behind by, like, two episodes. So, yeah. <laughs> That's that. Um, let's continue this way, and hopefully we don't encounter any bad stuff. I'm also praying that my my rotors don't dip too low that, uh, that my solar panels crash into the ground, but I should probably do something about that, but uh, for now, I'm just kind of letting it ride. Oh, there it is. There's the ice cap right there. And we've got the, um, we've got the chasm of lost time to our right and to our left, I think. It's like over that hill over there. And it's behind us as well. So the chasm of lost time really did lose us quite a bit of time, um, to get across that. Probably an episode's worth of time, but it's okay. We built a bridge and it's cool. Uh, let's keep going toward the ice cap of, of ice capness. Oh, there's another spire. Well, a couple of spires actually in the chasm of lost time there. Yeah, that's actually, that that's cool. That looks like shark's teeth or something. That's awesome. Oh, we need a screenshot of that. Hang on, let's, 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 uh, pause right here. Ow. <laughs> Look at that. That looks like teeth right there. That, that mountain looks like it's going to eat me. That's awesome. I want to, I want to check it out here. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> it looks like, um, a crown almost. Doesn't that kind of look like a crown on the head of a, something that's buried? I don't know. What should we name this one? What do you guys think? This one is 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 ripe for the naming. We'll take a couple screenshots. That's a flying screenshot, but maybe we can get one with uh, with me in it. I don't know if we can. We got these trees in the way. And what does the arborist do when there are trees in the way? Well, I mean, I think you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna boop. Two trees at once. That's that's uh that's some that's some skill right there. There we go. Check it out. That one's going in the scrapbook right there. <laughs> 
All right, let's continue. This is a really cool one. This this is one of my favorite. I think this one looks awesome. This um this structure, this uh work of nature. Um, all right, let's continue. We're gonna go toward that ice cap. How much distance have we made? We've only made five kilometers, which I mean, understandable. We did have a a uh, we did have a chasm in our way. Chasm that specializes at losing time. Oh, look at this! A savanna, clear, no tree. I mean, there's trees, but like not that many trees. Get a, a little bit of um, a little bit of ore here. Not that we need it quite yet. Oh, okay, that was a bit of air, a risky bit of air. Let's see, is this cobalt? If it is, we'll we'll stop for some. Or if it's ice, we'll stop for some as well. Magnesium. We do not need that right now. Not at the moment, at least. Check out that mountain range. Very neat. That one, all the way on the right, looks like an elbow or something po uh, poking out. Then we've got the ice cap right there, and then it looks like we're going toward, hopefully not the edge of this chasm, because that will be, that will spell disaster for us, if we have to somehow get down this. Which, uh, you know, it's looking like we might. Maybe we didn't explore far enough with our, with our little, uh, with our little Bridget, um, drone. What do we have here? What have we here? Looks like... We do have to somehow get down that or go around, but I don't know if there's a way around. We do have to get down this, though. Might I just say, by the way, very nice canyon here. Very beautiful canyon. Um, and we have iron right under us. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Uh, iron under us, canyon in front of us. No way around, as I look from my, from my little jetpack ability. Yeah, there's no way around. Maybe we're going to have to take out Bridget. But either way, the episode's getting kind of long, and I think this is probably a good place to end it. I like to keep them at two-hour increments in terms of recording time, and that one took a long time getting the bridge set up. So we're going to end it right here, and uh, okay, we really didn't make very much distance from episode eight. Yeah, just 10 kilometers, so we're really not doing much. But uh, again, we've encountered a large obstacle that we have to find a way around. What do you guys think? Parachutes? Ramp? Go around? I don't know. We need a way. Um... But uh, let's shout out a couple names. We'll shout out a couple names from uh, from from everything, pretty much. So for the Spire, we named the Two Wise Wanderers. Um, a couple of other names that were really nice were the Inspiring Spire, the Laurel and the Hardy Hill, uh, the Two Towers, the Godskin Spires, Broken Horn Spire, the Ogre's Castle, Dragon Tooth Spire, Castle Rock, Ollie and Stan, and Biba and Boba, a great couple. Those were some of the names that I got for the Spire. All very good names. And for the canyon, we got the Chasm of Lost Time, which is what we named it. Uh, we've got Clench Canyon, uh, Black Rock Canyon, and Big Bridge Canyon. Again, all very good names. I love the names you guys come up with. And then for these, uh, I need to put a plaque here, actually. Let me let me real quick put a plaque somewhere with all the names of the uh, uh, that were recommended for this ship. All right, here we go. These are all the names that were suggested for this uh, this rover. So you can see them all right there. And all the names that were suggested for the um, the little guy right here. Bridget, Pigeon, Wayfinder, Archie the Drone. Some really good ones. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. If you like this one, please hit the like button. If you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, post those down in the comments section below. And if you want to support the channel and get your name in the end, end credits uh, right there, there's a Patreon link down below in the description. Uh, with that, I'll see you all in the next episode of Space Engineers Mobile Survival.